Welcome to the Order of Sky YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about memory and the power of the mind. You know, millennia ago, the ancient Celts had a rudimentary <clears throat> written language, but they had no books, but they kept records. How did they do that? They had a class of people that they trained to remember things. People that trained their minds. They'd remember science and medicine and history and genealogy and all the things that they needed. They called this group of people Druids. I had a taste of this when I first went to Broward's Military College. We were expected to remember a lot of things. For example, you had to know the names and ranks of all of the senior cadets, hundreds of them, <coughs> at that facility. If anyone ever stopped you and, and you weren't able to instantly come up with a correct name and rank, you were in a world of hurt. But it was also about that time that we started seeing the rot set in. This fancy little newfangled device arrived called the calculator. And I saw people that knew how to do math. I mean, I knew that they could do long sums and multiplication and division and all of these things in their head. And they were faced with a simple problem like 2 plus 2. And they go, 2 plus 2, uh -uh. pull this thing out, 2 plus 2. It was amazing. People were, were taking these devices that were supposed to be tools to help them. And they were making them think for them. Well, now fast forward to right now. And we are inundated with electronic devices that are meant to think for us. I mean, I'm communicating to you right now using one of these devices. And don't get me wrong, they are very effective tools. And I love them. I write my books on them. There's all kinds of great things that you accomplish using these. But people are taking their entire brain and downloading it into their laptop, their notepad, their iPhone, their whatever they're using. They're friends names and birthdays and addresses and phone numbers and everything <clears throat> and then they lose the thing and it's like they've lost their brain one of the biggest problems i have working in the 911 call center police dispatch center is 2500 times a day in the greater vancouver area people call 911 and about 300 250 300 of those calls every day are caused by people who can't remember three numbers They've taken their cell phone and in there they've programmed 911 because they figure they can't remember that in a crisis. And then, because they haven't trained their brain to remember anything, when they make their last call, they forget to lock the phone and they put it in their back pocket. And 300 times a day, 911 call takers find themselves talking to somebody's ass or their phone or is in their purse or, you know. And this is amusing at first, but when you think about it, it's tragic because it's tying up emergency lines so people with real emergencies can't call in because we're getting a phone call from somebody's ass. This is not good. What is happening? What do we do about this? If you want to empower yourself, if you want to be powerful, if you want to put your energy out and direct it into the world, <clears throat> you have to use this. Being a warrior is not about these, it's about this. The mind is one of the five magical weapons. It's the most powerful, important one because it controls all of the rest. <clears throat> if you don't train this, how effective can you be? You know, like I handed my cell phone to somebody the other day and they wanted to call a family member and they looked at it and went, you don't have any phone numbers programmed in here. <clears throat> I said, who did you want to call? They told me. I said, here's the number. And I, I told them, <clears throat> I take baked goods to econ to the dispatch center all the time. We have a stressful job. I try to do little things to, to make feel people feel better. <clears throat> and often they'll ask me for a recipe and they go, oh, you know, I had a busy day. I haven't had a chance to, to type it out ahead of time. So I'll just grab a piece of paper, start writing it down and go, what are you doing? Oh, well, you're writing out the recipe. That's what you wanted. No, but you, you remember that? Yeah. <clears throat> it's not difficult. One of the things that we have as a precept in the order of sky is be creative and that's one of the things you can do just use your brain be creative create things go out there write do art do things to to use your brain you know because there's an old adage if you don't use it you'll lose it do meditation to focus <clears throat> that brain do exercises to develop your psychic ability and you can expand your mind start remembering simple things just one by one take those numbers out of your phone and remember them Instead of putting 911 in your phone, start with 911, please. Take it out of there and remember it. 
I mean, if I want to email one of my friends, I don't have to look it up. I just type it in because it's very easy. I, I remember them. I've made myself do that. <clears throat> Here's my adage for you. Train the brain and you will gain. How's that? So if you want to be glorious, train the brain. I mean, physical fitness, I've always advocated that. Mental fitness, equally important. Go out there and train that brain and be glorious, okay? Thanks for listening.